Fuck. I think this is going to be like the second video I open of me just yawning. It is not really early in the day. It's 11.57 in the morning on Wednesday. It is, two, what, two, three days away from the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And needless to say, there's a lot happening with that game. <laughs> a lot to the point where I'm conflicted how to feel. And I don't want to be one of the people that jumps immediately to Game Freak lied. Game Freak is a bad company. The Pokemon company is... I, I, I really don't want to be one of those people. But with everything that's continuously leaking about Sword and Shield, it's really hard not to be one of those people and stay optimistic. So, I'm just gonna talk about a lot of the stuff that's going on and how I feel about it. And I really want to do this now just so I can squeeze in my last minute thoughts before the game comes out on Friday because it's, it's being recorded on the same week, obviously. So let's, let's, let's just do it. Also, I'm a little excited because I have new art now. I have new art for this, which is probably incredibly more simplified, but I think it looks better. And I have a new end card image, so that's fun too. If you like any of that kind of boring crap, stick around for that, at least for a couple seconds so you can see it. So, I, I had to take some notes just because everything that was going on, it, it, it kind of piled up and I didn't really want to lose track on what was happening and just some of my thoughts. Uh, I didn't really write it in any specific order, so I'm going to have to just kind of read and scramble and figure it out in my head. But um, I, think, I think the best thing to start off with is the thing that started the commotion to begin with, and which is... Uh, the national decks and how that's pretty much just not a thing in this game which i i guess i can understand people being upset about because pokemon games have been doing national decks for the longest time and bringing basically your entire collection of pokemon with you throughout all of the games <coughs> so i get the ex i not the excitement i understand the disappointment do I think it warrants the the harassment and over-the-top reactions that have been happening? No, not at all. I personally don't really give a damn, just because I haven't really transferred Pokemon to newer games since, like, Platinum. Like, that was, like, really the last game I transferred Pokemon to. So, whether or not there's a national deck or not, or how extensive a Pokemon deck is, I don't really care. I really don't give a damn. What I care about are new Pokemon, and if those new Pokemon designs are good or not. And I guess that's a seamless segue into the fact that uh, a lot of the Pokemon aren't that good. So, there hasn't been a Pokemon game in recent years that just hasn't been leaked when it came to just the entire new Pokedex coming out. And that doesn't really, that, I mean, that bothers me to an extent because you're losing the element of surprise, of course. But then you also kind of know what you're getting yourself into. To be completely honest, I only really skimmed the list and I didn't really thoroughly look into it. But what I remember seeing was majority not great and a select few that were pretty good and uh, it, it's becoming more and more like that as pokemon games come out where it feels like it's losing the design philosophy that existed in the past games of early er times and i talked about that in my other pokemon video that i made which, you know, shameless plug. I will definitely plug that video. Uh, you should watch it. Just because uh, I do talk a lot about my thoughts on Pokemon as it is now. And I talk about all the past Pokemon designs up till now. You should go watch that video. And I'm drawing in the back of it. So I think it's cool. You'll probably enjoy it. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Go look. Go look. Um, anyway. Pokemon designs. Uh, I said it in the last video that I did of Pokemon. It feels like they just look more and more like Digimon. 
and less and less like Pokemon, and I find that very ironic. But again, some of them are good. Not a lot of them, though. And so, I guess with that... Oh, actually, back to the National Deck stuff, just because I forgot what the point of it was. Their reasoning for the National Decks and cutting so many Pokemon, I think it's they cut more than half of like the existing Pokedex, I think. The reasoning for it was that there's so many Pokemon that exist now that it's becoming too much, I guess. And they wanted to remake a lot of the older models so that they could make better animations and do just more justice in that department. And you hear that and you're like... You can either have two reactions. You can have the reactions of the shitty people that are like, eh, I want to national jack, she's bullshit. Or you can have the reaction of a kind of sane person and go, okay, it's a lot of workload. Um, it shouldn't really need to be done, but as long as the outcome is okay, then I guess it'll be worth it. Clearly, it isn't because uh, I guess the really big issue that's going on right now is that a lot of the old Pokemon from past generations have reused models. They have reused models from the 3DS games or at the very least from like Pokemon Let's Go. But I think even those Pokemon had the reused models too. I, I could be wrong on that. But either way, there's no new models for old Pokemon. The new Pokemon for this generation, of course, are new models. But every returning one, is, it's, the, it's basically a carbon copy of past... Pokemon models. Uh, so clearly, this is not going to be received well. And since last night, a trending hashtag on Twitter has been Game Freak Lied. And there's a plethora of images comparing the older models to the newer models. And it, you look at it and it's like, yeah, that's, that's the same fucking thing. Like, it's literally the same thing. And I feel like you don't really need to look at like the pixel count to really see that it's the same because you look at like trailer stuff and you look at the pokemon it's like that doesn't look different like that doesn't look like a new model and i think that's the most obvious when you look at dynamaxing it just looks like an upscaled version of whatever model they're using and when it's upscaled you can tell that it's not super refined i guess is probably the best word to use so you you just tell and that's not good <laughs> because in an interview that you can find online you're blatantly lying to your audience and that's the problem with all of this stuff because there's people that are i guess being apologists and that's probably a bad word but they're they're not giving enough attention to this stuff and the people that are upset, they're not understanding. They're not understanding that people aren't upset about, like, people them reusing models. That's not what people are upset about. If they didn't lie about it, it'd be perfectly fine. Like, we'd get past it. But it's the fact that they said something and did the opposite. I'm under the belief that companies should not lie to their consumers. Because when they lie, and when we find out that they lied, you're gonna get nothing but a negative reaction. And you shouldn't expect anything less from that. So, yeah, the internet kind of freaking out right now. And, you know, you could be wondering, how the hell do you know that, you know, how do you know that it's the same models? The game isn't out yet. The game's been data mined, apparently. I don't know how, I don't know from where, but it's been data mined. Oh, hit my computer. It's been data mined. A lot's come out of the game. A lot is being leaked about the game. I haven't seen anything really spoiler worth. I've just seen little snippets of stuff. But, you know, stuff's coming out. And it's really not looking good. So, that's really the bulk of why people are having a lot of issues with Sword and Shield right now. Is the fact that they it's just so much dishonesty. And... While that's the main bulk of it, there's still smaller stuff that's going on that are still issues that should be acknowledged. And I guess I'll talk about that right now because some of the stuff still relate to the lie of we cut this much stuff so we can make better animations and all that bullcrap. And it doesn't, you can just see that it's not true.
Okay, so, along with more than half of the Pokedex being cut, um, 126 moves were removed. Why? Like, I don't understand that. Pokemon is, like, competitive at this point. Like, the card game is super competitive. I don't think it's gotten any less competitive. And ever since the 3DS, I'm pretty sure the games have been competitive too. So why would you take away more than a hundred moves if you know damn well your audience is going to want to be competitive and make up strategies and build specific types of movesets? That's so fucked up to me. Not only is it fucked up, it's limiting too. Like maybe they're just more focused on the, the casual audience at this point, which I don't even think they've ever not been focused on the casual audience. So it's still weird. Um, a new thing that they added to the game, which is horrible, is that there's now a catching cap. And I, I probably didn't say that right, but what that basically means is that there's a level cap to the Pokemon that you can catch. You have to have a certain amount of gym badges to be able to catch a Pokemon of a certain level. That's fucking stupid. That's so dumb. I'm pretty sure they did this so they can move past the whole, oh, you don't have enough gym badges for this Pokemon to obey you. But just fucking get rid of that. <laughs> like, just take away that disobeying mechanic. Don't put a cap on the level of Pokemon we can catch. Again, so fucking limiting. For what reason? Like, I don't... Uh... If anything, if you wanted to solve that problem, it's... You'd, you'd have to solve that through, like, just naturally what the level is from the area you can catch Pokemon from, right? Or am I insane? But also, aren't usually, if you're the type of player that, you know, does some type of grinding for levels, wouldn't your Pokemon already be at a higher level than the Pokemon you'd be catching? Or is that just me? Like, I, I, I don't ever remember really catching a Pokemon that's a higher level than my team that I already have. So even in that sense, what the fuck is the point? You know? I, I don't understand that. Okay. Um, so there are issues graphically, and I guess that uh, should be the next point, just because it's the simplest, I guess. Um, there's slowdown, um, when too much is happening on screen, there's slowdown, which, uh, sure, like, I, it, it sucks, but it's not like modern games don't have slowdown. <coughs> and it also has draw distance, draw distance issues with characters, um, you know, if you're, if you're walking, there's nothing in front of you, but when you reach a certain distance of something, that's when it will show up. That's also happening. I I think that's a little less excusable. I don't think draw distance issues should really be a problem anymore, but it is, so that's what's happening with that. And a side note, they have something that I didn't write down, but I saw on Twitter before I started recording this. You can climb ladders, and that's cool, but everything stops around you? when you climb a ladder like time freezes i don't get that I don't, I don't like is can the game really not process you climbing a ladder but other stuff happening in the world like I, that's so bad um you know you 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 hear slow down and you hear draw this and stuff and like all that kind of crap and you think it's bad and it kind of is but i saw someone make the argument of well breath of the wild had similar issues and you're absolutely right. It had like slowdown issues and I guess frame rate stuff. So you're not wrong, but I find that to be not a good argument or comparison because Zelda in any way, in like any game, it's all going like that entire series is on a much grander scale. And there's so much more happening in a Zelda game than on a Pokemon game. Like just naturally like without even having to do anything significant or effort worthy like like there's just more happening in zelda 
Zelda is a much more detailed game in itself. Like, even with, like, this... It's not really... It's not even really a simpler-looking game. Breath of the Wild is not really simple-looking. The way that it's, like, colored and shaded, yeah, but... There's still plenty going on in there. There's still a lot of moving parts in Zelda that are really subtle. And, and like, you, you notice that. So... When it comes to, you know, saying that another Nintendo game has the similar issues and it wasn't getting crap, I don't think it wasn't getting crap, it just wasn't getting it nearly enough, because all of the good that was there outweighed the minimalistic bad that was there. So I don't think it's worth making that argument. I don't think that matters. And the same can go for any other, like, JRPG or RPG. I think Pokemon is very minimalistic as an RPG, at least in visuals. So I I think it's just a matter of bad development or lazy development because you can look at fucking Dragon Quest and you can already tell that there's so much more happening in Dragon Quest than there is in Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure there wasn't a whole lot of issues. And even if there was, Again, it's a little more excusable because there's so much more happening and it's just a more detailed game and it's just it's just a fact. I think I think it's all just a matter of them not properly taking the time to switch over to the Switch and learn what the fuck they need to do to make a functioning game because it still feels like they're developing for the 3DS. It still feels like they're trying to make the same game they would make on a portable system instead of, you know, a home console. Even though it can work as both, it has the power to be a home console and it works differently. So make that switch. <laughs> Get it? I don't know. I, I, I think I'm just holding Game Freak and Nintendo and the Pokemon company to a much higher standard than other things just because other companies make the adjustments and other companies do what the fuck they need to do but these this whole joint thing that is pokemon between three different fucking branches you have the money to do what the fuck you need to do to make something amazing but you're not fucking doing it you know they're taking so many shortcuts they're lying to our faces they're just, they're just not putting in the effort. Like, we don't know how big the team is at Game Freak, but it, it feels like it's not as big as it should be. It feels like they still have a relatively small group of people working on this game when there shouldn't be. When Pokemon is so much bigger than what it used to be, and it's so much... Like, it means so much more to people than it ever has, really. Because it's been with people for so fucking long. And the fact that a lot of people are falling out of Pokemon as the new games come out. Because it feels like it's losing charm that it had back then. It's like, they're fucking up. They're doing something wrong. And so, it's like, the fact that we all know that they have the money. And they're not using it properly. Is really upsetting. And that's why I personally... Oh, fuck, I hit my computer. That's why I personally get really annoyed with this kind of shit because i know that if they just really wanted to put in the effort they could do it and there wouldn't be any issues but th this is just what's happening but back to poor animations um i haven't seen a whole lot but like i've seen three main examples and those examples are um a, a gym battle with I think a fully evolved Scorbunny against whatever fucking Pokemon it was up against, some new Pokemon. And it was nothing. Like nothing was happening visually in that fight. Nothing was going on. I think I think like the fully evolved Scorbunny was using double kick. And it did the exact same fucking thing it did in the 3DS. And it just kinda hopped in place. And then the other Pokemon got attacked. That's all that happened. There was nothing. There was nothing at all. There was nothing to the point where it felt like battle animations were turned off, but I know they weren't because that's what the fuck they were in the 3DS. Like, there was nothing happening. And I think there was like a stage effect or something, and like a rock just kind of fell on its head, but like in a not pleasing way. Like, 
it was just nothing nothing was happening it was basically like like <sighs> fucking pokemon animation now to me a lot of the time is like if you take one of those cheap toys that you can't move its limbs and then you just kind of put it in like a mini scaled thing and just kind of move them around like that's what that feels like that's what pokemon animation feels like to me at this point because pokemon hardly ever move and if they do they only have like two specific animations and it's kind of bullshit i guess it's kind of whack and that's exaggerated even more with the first thing i saw which was late in the game i'm assuming because it showed the two legendaries but mind you it was only like two seconds or like it was like it was between like two to five seconds nothing spoilery happened so i don't know what the context of any of this shit was it was just one of the legendary dogs like the, the 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 new ones i don't know what the fuck they're called it was just one of them turning around to walk in the other direction and then look back at whatever like was happening i think it was just to look back at a trainer or something it was li literally the same type of movement from the 3ds game it was exactly the fucking same it was the entire body shifted to the direction it was moving into as if it was on like a dis like a spinning display thing it walked to wherever the fuck it was going and then went right back on that spinning display disc and slid back around to look at whatever the fuck it was looking at there is no excuse at this point it's so bad and it further emphasizes the bullshit lie that game freak told us it's so fucking upsetting it's like it's that like okay you gotta bear with me right because you can look at the 3d modeling and be like oh this they, they reused the models none of that stuff i think is credible right now because i think it all just came from like fucking like 4chan i think and like when you really think about it you can get a model from an old game and then just kind of copy it i think like, I think it's that easy. Or at least in, like, displaying it. Like, I'm I'm almost positive there's a way that you can cheese it and kind of make it look like it's the same fucking thing. So we don't know how credible any of that stuff is. But when we have, like, a clip from the game and that's what it looks like, like, just a cutscene alone and that battle animation with Scorbunny, there's no excuse. What, what do you have? What possible excuse could you have that doesn't completely contradict the lie that you told us for the reasoning that so much was cut from Pokemon? There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And that's the, that's the big problem here. That's the thing everybody has a problem with. And that's what people need to understand. If these shortcuts were made, people would be disappointed. But people wouldn't be as angry because they didn't fucking lie. And that's all it is. Especially, now that I'm remembering, especially that I'm pretty sure at some point in the past, they said that they foolproofed this type of situation by making a whole bunch of high-res fucking 3D models for everything and then just downscaling for the 3DS. So either that's exactly what's happening. No, well, no, it's not even exactly what's happening. Because if that is what's happening, then they wouldn't have said they're making completely new models. Oh my god, whatever. That's what it is. That's what's happening right now. That's the situation. And on a last minute thing, I think I think Dynamaxing sucks. I think it's bullshit. I don't like it. And I hate that they're introducing like a new gimmick for every fucking game. Because after Mega Evolution, which was the best gimmick they could have done and got rid of it, I think very quickly and that was very sad. After that, it, it's just nothing now. Because you had Z moves and they're pretty much gone. And now we have Dynamaxing, and that's very specific to this game and the situation. I hate these gimmicks. I'm tired of them. It makes shit like this not interesting because you can tell by this point already that's not going to last. So that that's all the drama that's happening with Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hate all of it, and what, what bugs me most... <laughs> Is that I'm still probably gonna buy it because I haven't played a like a real Pokemon game since like s s base Sun and Moon. I didn't play Ultra Sun and Moon. And I definitely didn't play Let's Go. I really want to play another Pokemon game. I just, I want a new experience. 
So it sucks that I'm really going to give this my money and support the bullshit shenanigans that Game Freak and Nintendo and the Pokemon Company are doing with this fucking game. And it's bad enough that, like, visually, the landscapes kind of look like doo-doo. The towns look fine, but, like, every wild area doesn't look good. It looks so fucking low quality. Even compared to, like, older games that came before this, it just looks bad. But Pokemon, and they know that they're gonna get money either way, and that's why they do this type of shit. And me buying it probably didn't, you know, help the cause, but, you know... That's going to be my next video, by the way. I'm sure the game's going to be fine. I'm sure the game will be okay and that people will enjoy it to some extent. It just really sucks that this is what's happening. But um, if you get it, I hope you enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to go now. That's only to eat breakfast or something. Um, I hope you at least stay a couple seconds to look at the, uh, the end card, which... I'm just not realizing I've never put an end card in behind the desk. I didn't even say this was behind the desk. Welcome and goodbye. <laughs> oh man, I'm so fucking tired.